back to my channel. Today we are going to put some furniture into this little house. So this little bed is one I made from a kit that I have myself and I'm just placing that in place. And I made this little cabinet here of a little piece of wood and I colored it and made the doors from a piece of paper. The same with the little drawer here that I'm placing in a second just showing you how I place that. So this one as well. I'm just gluing it in. Again a piece of wood just with a piece of paper for the drawers and then painted it really nice. Got a little too much glue there. Just placing that. Then I am making a tiny street lamp of this eye pen and I cut it into the size that I want the lamp. I put a small eyelet, this is uh, I think it's a one millimeter eyelet that I am placing up around the eye on this eye pen. Then I am taking a big pony bead that I am gluing onto this part of a jewelry piece that I found in my uh, stuff. So I'm just connecting these two first and then I am putting the pony bead until this little holder thingy on the eye pen. Just like this. Oops. And then I have a tiny bit of a street lamp that I can place on my uh, garden part here. I am using a fence that I made myself and got cut on a um, laser cutter from a online site that I found. So I'm just loosening up these small pieces and sanding them before I'm going to paint them. And I'm gluing everything in place. I designed and 3D printed a lot of different furnitures for this little house. Uh, these couches are not mine, but I will link to them if I can find the original page for these. Only the big couch here that I'm placing, I designed that from the original couches. Uh, so you won't be able to find this one. But I'm placing my couches here in the corner where I want them and I painted the little seat, the pillow part of them. I am going to show you a lot of different furnitures here that I'm placing in this house. All are 3D printed from here on and um, I will leave a link in the info box below for all these furnitures. I designed all the furniture in Fusion 360 and printed them out on my uh, Flash Force Creator 3 Pro, um, but you can print them on 
a resin printer or another FDM printer if you want to. I printed everything in a wood PLA that is quite easy to print with. It smells like wood and it can be um, filed down like wood. The little bench here is made of polymer clay and I'm pretty sure I made it in a YouTube video so if I can find the link for it I will put it in the info box below. Here are some more of the furnitures that I designed and 3D printed. So now I'm just going to glue them all in place where I want them. I also made this little vanity and a little tiny stool and I'm going to paint the bottom uh, piece here of it as it is going to resemble fabric so it's a little curtain here just do that on the vanity itself and on the little stool I am using a tiny piece of this silver uh, sticker sheet that I have for the mirror I also designed this little fireplace that I'm going to glue in here and I printed out the little picture of the fires and I glued that on the back side of the 3D printed fireplace before I'm putting it here in the place where it needs to go. I will leave the print file for the fireplace in the info box below. Then I designed this little piano uh, again for 3D printing and this comes in three parts and then the little piano bench. So I'm gluing this part here on the bottom part with the feet just like this and you have to turn both things around the right way so that you have the keys on the piano sitting like here. Then I'm just going to take the lid for the piano, turn it the right way around and glue it on just like this. And there you have a tiny piano. I am going to paint the keys and the little stool and then I'm glazing everything. So here is the done result and I'm just taking one of these and gluing it in place.
we need a few kitchen furnitures here so I printed these small kitchen cabinets that I designed and I'm going to paint the um, what you call that it's not a lid <laughs> uh, the tabletop and the drawers the front of the drawers and the cabinets that must be the right word for it so I am just painting these parts white and then I am going to my silver ink and I am coloring in the little faucet and the sink. And I am painting on a few small handles here on the drawers and the cabinets. When it's all dry it is time to glue that in place so I'm just picking out the spot where I want them and placing it. I also designed a little stove and a little refridge with a freezer in and I'm just gonna glue them in place in my little kitchen as well. I have two tiny stools and a little table and I'm going to glue them in place as well in the little kitchen. I'm sorry that this video is so long, but I wanted to show you all the small furnitures that I designed and 3D printed, and I will leave a link in the info box below for all the 3D print files. Um, I hope you liked this one. If you did not see me make the house itself, then I will leave a link for that as well. So that was all for today and next week i will be back to the polymer clay for those of you that don't like these 3d printed things anyway thank you for watching and happy crafting <laughs>